Hey everyone, welcome to The Natural Birth Show. I'm Rachel and today I'm here with my husband Scott and we are gonna teach you guys how to make a super simple labor aid and I'm using my husband so the partners out there know that even they can do it, it's super easy. He's never done this before. So before we get started, uh, obviously none of this is medical advice. Talk to your proper care provider and this episode of the show goes along with the episode of my podcast, The Natural Birth Talk, that is all about herbs with Demetria Clark. Also, if you guys are so inclined, you can check out my Buy Me A Coffee link below if you want to help support the show, but no pressure there. If you want to learn more about natural birth, pregnancy, and postpartum, please like the video and subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications. That would be really awesome. So getting started, this will be super simple. We have Pink Stork Labor Prep Tea. I absolutely love this tea. You can use any sort of herbal tea that's made for pregnancy. Um, or for birth, but this one specifically has red raspberry leaf tea, which is probably the best tea you can do for yourself. It has nettles, chamomile, rose hips, oat straw, and just a little bit of stevia. So it's a really awesome tea. You can use anything with any of those blends. You could get fresh herbs or not, but I like pink stork because it's organic. It's super easy. And they come in these cute little triangle pouches that I just think are adorable. All right, so Scott, what do you think we're going to do with this? Put it in the water. We're going to put it in the hot water. So go ahead. You can do it. So he's going to dip in the water. you got to dunk it a couple times. It's hot. Don't burn yourself. So this is already boiled water. You can boil the water however you want. On the stove, in the microwave, if you have a Keurig, you can take out the pod and just use the hot water on the Keurig and pick the size you want to to make it super easy. So this is going to sit for about five minutes, and we'll just kind of skip that part. Okay, so we let that sit for five minutes according to the instructions on the tea. So you can go ahead and take it out. So that's all we've done. We've just let it sit. It's just steeping. Now, all we're going to do is we are going to add a honey stick. I forgot one ingredient, so I'll be right back while he pinches that and adds it. He's struggling a little here. Yeah. Okay, if you have fresh honey, you can use fresh honey too. I just carry honey sticks in my doula bag, so you could easily get some honey sticks to take with to the birth center or the hospital or to just have around your house for super simple access. Just make sure he practices opening it ahead of time. <laughs> or I just cut it. <laughs> All right, so he added a honey stick. He's even using the stick as a stirrer, which is kind of smart. We need a pinch of high quality salt. So I'm using Celtic salt. You could also use a high quality sea salt or Himalayan salt. Per pinch, that's perfect. We're gonna pinch it in. The salt is really good for electrolytes. The honey is good for electrolytes and flavor. Um, and it has carbs, which uh, honey has carbs. So that's really good for your uterus. You need carbs. And then we're gonna add a scoop of protein powder because your uterus is a muscle. So obviously it needs carbs, but we often forget in birth that it also needs protein. So you wanna go ahead and add a scoop of protein powder. This is just an unflavored collagen powder. You could do Great Lakes collagen powder. You could do um, the Mama Natural collagen powder. Uh, there's several other ones out there that you can try, but it's an unflavored collagen powder. He just stir it around and that's it. He just made a super awesome labor aid. It's, it's great for pregnancy too but a great labor aid that's gonna provide you with carbs and protein for your uterine muscle to keep it nice and strong and healthy. It's going to provide you with lots of nourishment and electrolytes. It's gonna keep you hydrated. So, high five. Was that easy? Yes. Super easy? Yes. Have you ever done this before? No. And you did it. Yes. Another high five. All right, so it's that easy, guys. If you have any questions, please comment below. Let me know if you have any other labor aid pre um, recipe that you've ever used or if you think like something like this would be interesting to you. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to learn more about natural birth, pregnancy, and postpartum. And go ahead and like the video, too. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.